you join us back again this week. Um, last week we talked about Noah and his new beginning, God's plan for his new beginning. And I just wondered, did anybody see a rainbow last week? I didn't, even though it rained a couple times. Did anybody go to the zoo? Did anybody figure out what a weedy sea dragon is or what my favorite animal is at the zoo? Don't forget to email me your answers. I'd love to hear from you. So a lot's happened between the time of the flood and our story today. We're going to hear about Abraham. And I encourage you to read in your Bibles some of the big events that happened. So this week we're going to talk about Abraham and God's plan for him. Could this be another new beginning? Go get your Bibles and join me for this story. A New Home Genesis chapters 12 through 17. Abraham loved God. So did his wife, Sarah. One day, God told Abraham to move to a new land. So, along with their helpers, Abraham and Sarah packed up and went. Abraham's nephew, Lot. Abraham's nephew was Lot. Lot and his helpers went with them too. The helpers began to fight. There was not enough grass for all the animals. So Abraham said to Lot, You pick your own land to live on. Lot chose the best land. It had the most green grass and the most water for his animals. Lot moved to his new home. Then God gave Abraham a blessing. God said, All the land you see here will be yours forever. Also, you and Sarah will be blessed with many children. God led Abraham and Sarah to a place called Hebron. It was beautiful. The Visitors, Genesis chapter 18 and 21. One hot day, Abraham was resting near his tent. He heard footsteps. Three men were standing nearby. Abraham went out to greet them. Would you like to rest in the shade? We have plenty of cool water to drink. Can I get you something to eat? Abraham told Sarah about the visitors. He asked her to make a tasty meal. While they were eating, the three visitors shared some exciting news. They said, your wife is going to have a son. Sarah heard what they said. She laughed, thinking, I am too old. God asked Abraham, why did Sarah laugh? Anything is possible with the Lord. Sure enough, the next year, Sarah had a baby boy. They named him Isaac. Wow, good for Abraham. He just got up and went, just like God asked him to do. Could you do that? Could I do that? I would like to think I could, but I can't honestly say. Um, God's plan for him and Sarah was amazing. Did you ever think something was so impossible to happen that you laughed? Imagine how God felt. Imagine how Abraham and Sarah felt. So while you're thinking about some of those questions, go to our website. There's links for activities, games, coloring pages, that kind of thing. I hope you have fun with them. And I hope to see you all back next week. Elizabeth and Allie, Sawyer, Emerson and Nora, Jane, Gabby, Harper Island, Henry, I hope to see you all back next week.